All right, we all love the droids from Star Wars. We have astromechs, we have protocol droids, and we have whatever BB-8 is, because we still don't know yet as we're moving into the Force Awakens premiere. Oh, uh, but there is one specific, uh, you know, if we think about droids in real life, there's a, a you, you think, would they actually work out? Uh, NASA roboticist Brett Kennedy has his own ideas. The thing that's closest to my heart is actually the R2-D2, because it's this engineered droid that's there to fix things. Hello. We can build an R2 today, and a lot of what it does is perfectly possible with what we have. Even when they're shooting these scenes, they're actually creating a semi-robotic system to do that in the first place. C-3PO is also strangely close, because if you married the capabilities of our humanoid systems with what you can get out of your phone today, marrying the two together shouldn't be particularly difficult. There are even some humanoid systems that we have today that can outperform a C-3PO system. We're doomed. Womp, womp. <laughs> uh, Brett Kennedy goes on to say, you know, he talks about the plausibility or the feasibility of these robots being used by NASA or by future, uh, you know, space explorers. And the answer is BB-8 would not work at all. Sorry. I mean, it just seems, according to Kennedy, that this round body wouldn't be good on any service, uh, service except for a flat surface. Right. Uh, otherwise, it would be very problematic. Um, I, mean, I guess it makes sense. Yeah. But what if he was really sticky? But what if he was so cute and you just wanted to carry him around with you in a little baby carriage? <laughs> that defeats That's the terrible. purpose of a mobile droid. <laughs> that is the that is the opposite of what the point is. <laughs> um, and then the most likely candidate would be C three PO because it, he does somewhat mimic humanoid designs, androids specifically, yes. uh, humanoid designs uh, that they already use, and he does have, as he says in the video, the capabilities of. A smartphone. Yeah. What a smartphone could do. So they could probably get one up and going and make some use out of him. But, but they, as he said, there's a little bit be beyond C3PO. Yeah. I mean, like, and A, can we make a robot that's sassy and scared all the time? Yeah. We haven't Emotions. made robots with personality yet. Well, so. here's the deal. That's where we get into trouble here. Um, the point of the Star Wars droids are to tell a story and to make us love them. Um, as Kennedy says further on in the video, which you can check out the full version of, uh, that you, sh it, you should probably be thinking these of more as, you know, tools than robots, or a way, a means of getting something done, as opposed to something that you would assign a personality and, uh, you know, personhood to, maybe, or some kind of, like, facsimile to that. Right. Well, I'm just saying... If, if I'm going to have something that makes dinner at night, I want it to communicate with me. You want it to be your buddy. Yeah, I want friends. I don't have any of those. Yeah, so. I'm your friend, Brandon. You, I thought you, you were a robot. A <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, they all serve different purposes. Friend dinner robots versus uh, NASA's uh, very specific rovers that have duties that uh, further research along instead of just quips and fun jokes and being adorable. Audience! Which droid would you most like to see in real life? Let us know below in the comments and please like and subscribe for more.